Hey, my tech friends, thanks for stopping by. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's continue to grow this channel. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Hey guys, welcome to another x -Lite video. In today's video, we're gonna look at the x -Lite operating system of x -Lite 11. Now, the x -Lite 11 operating system we've reviewed in the past was just the optimum version. This is called Micro. And apparently the Micro Edition installed is three gigs in size. The installer itself is only 1.65 gigs in size, which is about half of the size of the optimum version. So I'm very interested in seeing what kind of operating system we get once we get this installed. So right off the bat, we get the uh, splash screen to install it. We don't get many much, much of an option here. We just basically get the same right out of the box option. I don't see, at least in this configuration, an option where we get to remove the Defender configuration. Now, I know from our previous installation videos and in, uh, configuration videos on the XLite platform, at this point I would tell you that you'd be better off running it without the Defender application just because of the Really, there's no difference in the security configuration out of the box. Now, obviously, you're going to have to install an antivirus on that operating system. And once you do that, it's going to bring the utilization back up to what it would have been anyway with the Defender operate uh, action. But that said, most of the uh, third-party antiviruses will allow you to disable the antivirus completely. So if you want to run games and stuff like that, you don't, you know, you're not still bound by the uh, memory utilization of the actual Defender application. So I could see the point in doing that. But if you're not going to buy an antivirus and you're just going to use the operating system as is, you'd be better off using the one that has Defender built in, arguably. And I say arguably because during our testing, we learned that with or without Defender on, there are certain areas of the registry that don't exist, and it's not certain whether or not Defender, even with it installed, works correctly. And unfortunately, I don't have any viruses to just randomly throw at the machine to test that theory. Okay, so the OS is installed. And I gotta be honest, that was quick. Didn't take too much time. Well, we got a reboot in the middle there, and I'm assuming that's because we had packages that needed to complete the install during the installation process, but still, the installation process of this particular operating system was much faster than any of the other homebrews that we've tested, which is saying something because it's, you know, again, it's, it's supposed to be very small, so what does that actually mean? Let's take a look here. So before we do any kind of real installation on this thing, I just want to drill through here and see what we have. So we have 800 megs roughly of memory being used, 764, so roughly 800 megs of memory being used. This is about 46 megs lower than our Windows 10 system that we tested for the uh, XLite Optimum version with, um, without Defender running. So we're using a little less memory on this particular system. CPU utilization is about what it is on par for Windows 11. So I'd say from a configuration standpoint, we do have savings here, at least in the memory aspect. Our RAM utilization is lower. Our disk I.O. is non-existent. And our CPU utilization sitting at 2 to 4% CPU utilization um, is about standard for Windows 11. So we don't really have any savings in our CPU configuration. So now let's look at... our size. Let's figure out how big this operating system actually is. Small. It's small. That The answer is it's small. So our OS is small. We're at about three gigs, roughly. A little higher considering we have a page file, but we're really roughly at three gigs. Um, let's take a look in our configuration here for what we have as far as uh, information on the system. That's great. Let's go into advanced system settings. Let's go into performance, into advanced. I still don't understand this. I, I don't get it. So basically what it looks like is the dev is setting it to the smallest amount so that we show, can showcase the operating system being the smallest. But all that'll do is cause performance issues. You'd be better off running it with the automatic choice than you would be doing that. We still have remote assistance turned on. We're going to shut that off. Actually, I guess for the sake of this thing, maybe we should just leave it on, and then we should go back in here and change the performance back to the 16 megs. Um, it's fine. 
fine. So that way we can run a scan against the system as it sits. Again, when you're in this industry and you work in the IT world or the IT uh, side of things, you know, when you see things, generally speaking, you want to fix them on the fly versus waiting. I mean, if you're in there anyway, it takes less time to just fix it than it does to ask questions about fixing it. But showcasing this operating system as it sits, it is small um, as, phys as far as a physical size, but you're really not getting much of a performance savings. I mean, maybe we're saving 200 megs of uh, system memory utilization between this and the full-blown version of the x -Lite, the Optimum Edition. Um, and then it's from a CPU perspective, the CPU is exactly the same in your vanilla system as it is here. I don't see any difference in the savings from an idle process. Now, once you start running games and stuff like that, maybe that changes, but at an idle process, I don't see any difference. With that said, let's see uh, what it shows once we start to run a scan against it. It's small, so we're clearly missing something somewhere. Now, just to clarify, generally I would jump through all the hoops in these operating systems, but so far the X-Lite systems has really proven itself as not having anything as far as virus crap installed on them. They all seem to be pretty standard as far as that. They all seem to have some security configuration flaws, but they're not like vindictive security configuration flaws. So out of the box, let's just run a scan on this thing and see how it comes back. Okay guys, so our scan completed for X-Lite Microsystem. And as we can see on the screen here that our configuration comes back with 66 infos and one medium. Which means that out of the box, the configuration as far as a config for security is concerned is actually worse than anything else that they make so far. I mean, that number is subject to change when we test out additional systems from their infrastructure or their, their umbrella of uh, customizations. But as, as we sit, this is by far the worst one. Now, with that said, the more you reduce the operating system, the scanner itself doesn't compensate for that. However, what it does do is it probes the firewall configuration and checks to see if the port allocation configuration is defined to point to allow or to allow the UDP or TCP ports through the firewall to allow the application to communicate. So if the firewall isn't reconfigured to not allow those communication ports for the applications that don't exist, then you get numbers like this because that's a configuration problem. So we can see that we've had reductions from one operating to the net system to the next. So if we've gone from optimum to light to micro, we could see the additional numbers in our infos increase because every everything that we reduce that isn't removed from the firewall configuration increases by a number in an info because we don't have the configuration set correctly on the Windows operating system. Now I suspect based off of the three additional that we see here from the 63 in the previous operating system, we could jump back into the uh, X Lite here. So if we go to no defender, 63 and one. So and a new one we're at 66 and one. So we have three additional ones. So that tells me that if we run our actual scan, then chances are after we run all our scripts against the system, we'll probably be able to drop this operating system down by an additional three or roughly seven to 11 configs uh, changes that would be needed in our, um, in our scripting to actually lock down the operating system. So our number likely after we ran the scan would probably be a 14 because we don't have those additional configurations in our script. Now, if we added those things into the scripting, we could probably drop this operating system back down to the, uh, the 10, the eight to 11, somewhere in that realm for infos with zero on the uh, medium. So all in all, I would say it's just as secure as the other operating systems that the X-Lite system makes. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Um, again, all in all for a tiny operating system, um, and I say that roughly because tiny is subjective. Tiny as far as the storage required to run it is tiny. However, the overhead from a processor and memory utilization is really, I mean, all things considered is really about the same. I mean, we do have memory utilization that's lower in this operating system than it was in the other operating systems, especially versus the vanilla version of Windows 11. Um, but from a processor or memory utilization configuration, it's exactly the same. So if you're going to run this on a slower piece of hardware, it's going to be slow. It's just how it is because you, you likely don't have the processing power or the memory speed to keep up with the operating system. Will it install? Absolutely. Um, can you use it as a test? Absolutely. Is it going to be the best blazing fast system you've ever used? Absolutely not. But it's definitely something. So uh, cheers to the developer and, uh, you know, it was enjoyable to test this one out. Thanks for sticking around, guys.